Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix, and this is a 2023 Toyota Sequoia. This is the capstone edition, the top of the line. There are other trim levels, but this one comes standard with the hybrid drivetrain. And that means you're gonna get good fuel economy of a vehicle, the size plus a lot more. Let's get started with what's different for this vehicle besides the fact that it's completely all new, which means it's gonna be running for North American SUV of the year. Let's get started with these LED headlights. First thing you note when I hit the unlock, You've got these running LED lights, which is nice, and this new front fascia, which includes an aggressive muscular hood, which I really like. I also like the pearl white paint job, which comes with this vehicle. One thing you'll note is this gigantic front grille, which looks much like the rest of the family, so they've made the Sequoia fit right in. And behind this blue hybrid logo, the blue means that it's a hybrid powertrain. That's where your safety features are hidden. Also note that the lower valance is black gloss and matte silver, making this vehicle look really nice. You'll also note that this vehicle has load leveling headlights. So when you are loading something heavy in the back, like a trailer, or you've got a heavy load, the headlights will adjust really nicely done as well. Our test vehicle has the iForce Max engine. And we'll talk about that when we go under the hood. So you'll want to stay with us to hear about all the cool features. Our test vehicle is a capstone, which means it rides on 22 inch alloy wheels, which run on Bridgestone all season tires. Also note the capstone is here on the side to let everyone know you're driving the top trim level. The capstone has an 8.86 ground clearance and its full length is 122 inches. So you can see if it fits in your garage. One thing you will note is privacy glass for the second and third row, which is great, especially if you got little ones in back and you've got your chrome roof rails up top if you wish to put a cargo container up there if you need more space. There's a lot on this warranty besides a three year 36,000 mile warranty, which you would expect, but there's a five year 60,000 mile powertrain, an eight year 100,000 mile for the hybrid powertrain, a 10 year 150,000 mile warranty on the hybrid battery and Toyota Care comes with this vehicle, which means you get roadside service 24 hours a day and two years or 25,000 miles of maintenance. That'll help save on the budget. On the back of the Sequoia, you've got your third brake light tucked in here as part of your upper wing. You've got the ability to open the glass separately as well as your wiper blade. Again, that hybrid Toyota logo. And across the back, the new Sequoia written across the back with LED taillights. Your class three towing, which is best in class, is 9,820 pounds. And if you're thinking about towing, towing capacity is going to be critical. The Toyota Sequoia seats seven or eight, depending upon the configuration that you choose. Do like this white and gray interior, really pretty. Heated and ventilated front row and second row seats are also heated and ventilated. Captain's chairs or bench seating. Our test vehicle has the captain's chairs and there is lumbar support as well as the ability to adjust this vehicle to your comfort level. Really nice materials. It is not leather, it is a premium material, but quite nice. In the second row, you've got captain's chairs. You can get bench seating. A lot of people prefer the captain's chairs as it's easy to get into the third row. In the second row, you have a pocket behind each seat, as well as heated and ventilated seating and climate control for the second row, as well as cup holders on the back of the center console. Between the two captain's chairs is a nice little area for putting whatever you need as far as toys or food, cup holders, and a spot for even a juice box. Getting into the third row, push that button and those seats fold right up. And then you have a step, much like the Grand Highlander, to get into the vehicle. And there's also a button here to make the seat go forward as well. Going into this row, you can see that there is a spot for moving those seats forward and back. There is no latch system in the third row, but you can use the old school traditional belt and you can put three people back here. You can also move these seats forward and back as needed for the recline by just pressing that button. Two cup holders. One thing is really nice is there is manual window shades for the third row. Most vehicles do not offer that. That is a big plus. And then of course, some extra hidden storage back here. 
the kids will love that. Let's take a look at some of the technology and safety features, which are huge improvements for this year's Sequoia. Starting with this 14 inch center screen, which I really love, huge departure from what they've had in the past. And I appreciate it. Thank you, Toyota, for listening to your customers. Crystal clear, easy to use. Going into your audio system, you have multiple sources. You can use your radio, your Apple Music, or your Amazon Music. For radio, they offer AM and FM, which some manufacturers have removed, as well as satellite radio, or you can use on some of your additional sources, which allows you to listen to what you'd like to listen to. Going into your phone settings, you've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is great. Going further into your phone settings, you've got your trip information, and you can see the fuel economy we light the vehicle idling, but this is things that you can use. And then you can also personalize this however you want with how you want the display, the navigation, customizing the vehicle is all right here and super easy to use. In front of you, you have what you would expect when it comes to Toyota. You've got your volume controls for your audio system here and the ability to change information that you want right in front of you. That is nothing more than just changing your fuel economy numbers to see what works. When you press this lever, whether it be up or down or left and right, it changes the information in front of you in the gauges. So you can have your fuel economy, you can have the compass if you wish, or navigation once it's set, your radio station, some information on the vehicle, especially the trailer towing, but there's also additional information in here, which includes trailer brakes, which are standard on this vehicle and tire pressure. So you don't have to get out and check it once a month. It's right there in front of you. When it comes to safety, everything is standard. The Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 includes the pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, full speed range dynamic radar cruise control, lane departure alert with steering assist, and lane trace assist as well as roadside recognition. All of that is here. You can turn it on or off. All that information is super important, which is why Toyota has top safety ratings and you can see why. The information on the right is customizable in that center screen, but right now we have the iForce Max information and what we need. And then of course the outside temperature and additional information. I really like the soft touch materials that are on the interior as well as the new design on not just the vents, but literally everything when it comes to this vehicle. Lots of controls are on the left side of the steering wheel, including the locking of the fuel cap door and the heated steering wheel. Two seat memory setting. And then below the center screen, you have additional settings for your climate control, which are heated and ventilated three stage, as well as an additional charge port, which is nice, really easy to use. And then further down, you've got your trailer information. On the left, you've got your trailer brakes, which are really nice to have. Makes life a lot easier than installing it afterwards, as well as your trailer information, your camera. When you press this, you get a full visibility of where you are. And this is a real-time camera that goes around and it will stop and show you where you are once it reaches its full 360. So you can see what's going on. You don't run over anyone or anything because that would be really bad. In addition, your four ways are here, wireless charging, your standard Prindle, which I still appreciate a lot of manufacturers have pulled that, parking brake is there, and your hold. Going further back, you've got your drive modes, your high and low, different drive modes, as easy as turning this, and you get sport, normal, or eco, depending upon what you would like. Going further back, behind the cup holders, You've got storage right here, and then accessing this area, you can look right down. And the thing is, you can also lift up this whole center console, so you have lots of options if you're just dropping something in, or you need to connect something to charge. Really nice, really clean, very modern, love the styling on the interior, and Sequoia needed an update, and they've done a great job with that. Under the hood, you'll find that Born in Texas logo because this vehicle is built in Texas. And under the hood, you will find this big motor, which is the 3.5 liter aluminum block V6 hybrid with twin turbochargers and water-cooled intercoolers. 24 valve double overhead cam engine that has 437 horsepower and 583 pound-feet of torque, and that is good for towing. Parallel hybrid system with the electric motor generator is located underneath the vehicle with 48 horsepower coming from that electric motor and 184 pound-feet of torque. Fuel economy is 20 miles to the gallon combined on the 4x4. The 4x2 is 
22. Recommended fuel is 87 octane, which I do appreciate, and that helps save a few bucks. Wow, you can put your foot in instantly here, that twin turbo charge of that iForce Max engine. Now this engine's being used in a lot of the different trim levels, including the Grand Highlander, and I have to say, I like this motor because it gives you the power and the fuel economy as well as the towing capacity, and there are different drive modes. Now, there are different trim levels, as many of us know. One of the things, I really like how that suspension just absorbs over that really rough road. That's important as well. One of the things I like about this vehicle is the ride. This is the capstone, so this is the premium, the top of the line. We're going to get all the luxuries as well as all the capabilities. So if you're thinking about buying a three row SUV, but you want the luxuries, but maybe you don't wanna pay for those luxuries, then look at this Toyota Sequoia capstone because you're getting the top trim level and it would be equivalent to the entry level of a luxury vehicle. So a lot of people are looking at these new top trim levels that a lot of different brands are coming out with for this specific reason. They want luxury, but they don't want to pay for that luxury name, which in this case would be Lexus, which is a Toyota product. One of the things you'll notice with this large screen is you get your fuel economy, your trip duration, all the information you would want, and it also has the history showing that on average it's getting about 19.3 miles to the gallon, which isn't too bad considering the size of this beast. It's easy to handle, even though it's a large vehicle. I think a lot of people think, oh, it's a big vehicle, it's going to be hard to drive. Really easy to drive. This is all new for 23. So what they do is that Toyota listens to their customers and they try to add in some of the demands that you have. So that's why I always say it's important to contact the manufacturer direct. The dealer here is you and they'll get you into what you need, but it's much better to go right to the manufacturer, send them a little note saying, hey, I love your product, but I wish it had fill in the blank and then you'll have that. One of the things that's new also is the head-up display, which I love. All of the safety features are easy to reach as far as like lane departures here on the steering wheel, the distance between you and the vehicle in front of you, that active cruise control is also important. Going through some of these pretty simple corners, which is what you would do on a normal basis, you'll see this vehicle handles really well. You've got good control, nice beefy steering wheel. When you go into the corners, you're not getting excessive body roll, which I've seen on some of the competitors. In this case, this is a large vehicle that is easy to control, and that's really important. The combined fuel economy for city and highway is 20 miles to the gallon, and what's good is it runs on 87 regular unleaded, and that is a huge positive for your pocketbook. One additional thing I like, which is part of visibility, is you put on that rear view camera by just flipping the switch behind your rear view mirror, especially if you've got people in the third row you can't see out, you've got gear in back, you're going on a road trip, just flip that switch and you have a backup camera that is 180 degrees that is really nice and crystal clear. When it comes to cargo space, there is a cargo net and it's about 11 and a half cubic feet of storage here. But there is some very cool features. This shelf is adjustable. There are three adjustment points, a high, middle, and a low. You can remove this very simply. The next thing you'll note is your three rows. But when you want to put it down, there's a button here. This third row space is adjustable. Pull the lever, the seats slide forward and back, giving you up to 22 cubic feet of storage. Folding down that third row, you're now at 49 cubic feet of storage and these seats slide forward and back. If you fold down that second row seating, you're going to be at 86.9 total cargo volume. There is a lot that is new with the 2023 Toyota Sequoia. This is the capstone, like I said, so it starts at $78,000. Our test vehicle came in at $80,900. There's a lot of vehicles in this category, including the luxury lines, because this price point starts you into the luxury lines, because you're looking at the Expedition, the Lexus, which is its direct competitor, as well as the Jeep Grand Wagoneer. So if you're looking at three row SUVs, this one should certainly be in your test list because this vehicle has great resale value and the cost of insurance is lower. Now there's some positives. I definitely like the new powertrain, the new fuel efficiency, the larger screen. All this safety is standard, which I really appreciate. Toyota did a great job redoing this vehicle and really made it look 
good looking and modern. On the negative side, the only thing I, I could think of is I wish that the third row seats went flat. It's nice that they have adjustability and that there's a shelf built in, which a lot of manufacturers don't offer. So they really thought about the flexibility of that. The third row is kind of limiting for adults, but perfect for kids who will want to sit back there to have their own space. I'm sure you have some additional questions on the 2023 Toyota Sequoia Capstone. If you do, put them in the comments below. If you bought one, let us know what you think. If you bought something else, we'd like to hear about that as well. If you'd like to support our channel, we do appreciate it. We just reached 100,000 subscribers thanks to you. We do appreciate that. You can support us by buying us a cup of coffee. The link for that is in the description as well as for the website, the podcast, the social media, and the book. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.